everybody, it's Mac here from Cryptstar Staking. The Tezos ecosystem has been expanding like crazy lately, and I am help I am here to help you maximize your profit while exploring it. Now today I'm going to be walking you through the Tezos staking process and how exactly you can maximize your profit by earning residual income just by holding your Tez in your wallet. Now Tezos has a special system called Liquid Proof of Stake or LPOS for short and this allows you to go ahead and send and receive Tezzies and it takes a snapshot during every cycle, every block cycle and that snapshot basically decides how much staking rewards you're going to be getting. So you don't need to put your Tez, give your Tez over to any custodial service. You don't need to keep it on an exchange in order to earn residual income. Uh, you can just hold it in your cold wallet. You can hold it in your active wallet, whatever you want. But it, you just need to make sure that you do choose a bakery service. Otherwise, you won't get anything. Now, first, I'm going to walk you through choosing a baker. And this will show you how to choose a baker based on his activity in the community, if he votes or not. Also, it's good. we're going to uh, show you how to see if he uh, up properly updates his uh, node and stays on top of the protocol changes so that way you don't lose any of those precious rewards. After that, I'm going to talk, talk you through our bond service we offer here at Cryptstar. So if you're really, really bullish on Tezos and you want to earn a little bit higher APY, then you can go ahead and use our bond service and participate in a bakery uh, with a more hands-on experience yourself. Anyways, without much more to do, let's get to it! Alright everybody, so to start off this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and head over to the leading uh, Tezos Bakery Statistics page that is called BakingBad.org. Now on Baking Bad, you can see here all of the different Tezos bakeries that are listed. Now when you first log on to this page, you can see they're organized by insurance. Now this is an insurance policy. Uh, the bakers can choose to pay the insurance policy. Uh, there's a set fee every month. And if they miss any bakes or anything like that, or if they or if they uh, lose the funds, then basically they have to pay. They have to still pay for those funds, but it's it's guaranteed that they're going to pay it uh, by baking bad because it's uh, basically they're holding a percentage of these uh, Tezos uh, as ransom, so that you have to pay out your delegators. I think this is a good service. However, uh, Tezos bakeries they don't make a whole lot of. Uh, a lot of money off of this. I mean, honestly, our, our bakery has maybe made, uh, we, haven't, we haven't really made any money at all compared to the, the infrastructure that we've set up. It's it's definitely most of it, mostly a hobby project. Um, but basically, it, you can pay for insurance and then it automatically lists by the insurance policy and the insurance is uh, one of Baking Bad's uh, ways of making income for running this website. So what I would recommend is I would go over here to ROI and I would go ahead and organize by ROI. Well, it organizes by ROI for you. So you can see here, the highest ROI is 5.834% by this baking team. Right now they're over delegated. I can see under free space, it says negative three. So there's no way to delegate with them right now because they're over delegated, probably because their ROI is so high. Okay. And the reason their ROI is so high is because they only have a 3% fee, as you can see here. Um, baking team also has a, they vote very consistently and they only run Tezos. So you can see that they're a very loyal uh, baking service. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and head over to our bakery just to use it as an example. It's Cryptstar, it's down here. So right now ROI, ROI is 5.581. We do have an 8% fee, uh, that is still very low. And we have 104k available, so you can delegate to us. And we also have a backstock. So in case uh, we get over delegated, we are able to go ahead and re-up this and make sure that we can uh, fix the delegation. Uh, we can make sure that we can cover any delegators that come to us. Okay, so this page is very, very useful. Um, you can go, you can click on the baker itself and you can look at their history. So you can see this, this delegator left us, um, the failed delegation. Uh, you can see our baking schedule right here, and this link is also on our website. Okay, uh, you can see our rewards. Okay, 
So as it says on the first page, our ROI is 5.081, but since we run our bakery uh, top notch, we actually have an ROI of 6.03. Uh, we have a very high efficiency rating and a very high reliability rating. So you can look at these statistics page to kind of see, um, see if your baker is active, if he's properly up updating his uh, node. Uh, the nodes require maintenance about once or twice a month. Uh, you also have to make sure that you have uh, plenty of uh, tests in your wallet to pay for the payments uh, to all of your delegators uh, for security reasons. We do it through a separate wallet than our Baker wallet uh, because our Baker wallet is secured by an HSM and the payments are run through a different system. Okay. So on this page you can also download the, uh, the statement of operations. So basically every, all of the different actions that the Baker has done you can go ahead and download it here. And you can see uh, tokens we have. Uh, looks like we have a, we still have some stake on here. So that doesn't really matter for this. Anyway, so I'm gonna go over to some other resources. Uh, you can kind of Google uh, different Tezos ROI. Uh, you can see it ranges usually from six to 7%. Uh, as you can see, our ours was yeah, about 6.03%, 6, 6 okay. Um, as of right now, uh, th there are some services that claim to offer more than that. Uh, for a while, uh, Kraken was uh, claiming to offer 15% or 20%. However, they don't actually offer that. It was just a small promotion in order to get a lot of people to stake. Uh, with, Lit with Tezos, you can stake your crypto just from your wallet. You don't need to like actually stake it and there's no withdrawal. Uh, there's no locking. Uh, time or anything like that. It's completely liquid. You can withdraw, deposit more, whatever you want to do. It takes a snapshot of your of your Tezos, and I'll go more on this over the snapshots later. Okay. So, for example, you head over to Kraken, and uh, this used to be 15%. Of course, now they've lowered it 5.5. As you can see, ours is six, so it's actually higher than Kraken. Okay. And most bakers are higher than Kraken. Uh, they take a huge chunk uh, of the baking rewards from themselves. So, you can see different ones have different percentages. Search for Tezos, and you can see here it's 5.5%. And it pays every Monday or Thursday. Uh, that's normal baking fees for us. So, we, we, we also pay uh, about twice a week. Okay. Now, from here, we're going to go over to our website. I'm going to show you, uh, this is uh, my personal opinion on how a bakery should be run. You could, we should have a proper email set up for your for your bakery in case anybody has issues. A lot of my delegators they, they hit me up on Twitter if uh, for some reason our payment uh, system is down. I try to tell everybody on our Telegram group, so you can go ahead and join our Telegram group for any updates uh, if our breaker has gone down or something has happened. Uh, it's never happened before, but. Uh, we do update regularly and we do check it regularly. If you have any questions, please use our Telegram to contact us. Now, like I said before, this is our baking schedule. I showed you that on Baking Bad. It's our baking schedule. Okay. Uh, where'd it go? Baking Bad, right here. So yeah, you can see our ba baking schedule right here. Okay. Now I'm gonna go into more detail about how these snapshots work so you can kind of understand this is a more, uh, I like this visual, uh, but for the TZ stats for the visuals uh, compared to Baking Bad. Uh, you can see here, there's uh, so many cycles uh, during a uh, Tezos, uh, sorry, there's so many blocks during a Tezos cycle. I think, uh, sorry, 256 or 512 or something like that. There's a lot of them, right? So basically uh, the snapshot is taken, I think uh, 16 times during the cycle. And that, uh, and that snapshot, one of those snapshots, I think, is used for the um, for deciding what rewards you get for that cycle. Uh, it's always randomized, so honestly, there's no timing it to get better rewards. It's completely randomized every cycle, so that's why I don't really memorize these these, these numbers because just think of it as it's a random snapshot during the cycle, this three-day cycle. So. If you want to guarantee you get rewards for your Tezos, hold it in a wallet for at least uh, three, uh, at least uh, three days. Okay, so this is about three days right here. Okay, and here you can also see some of our uh, other other statistics. Yeah. We can see we've had a really great increase in uh, active delegators recently. Okay, now next we're going to move on to how to go ahead and delegate. And I'm just gonna use one example because it is the most simple way to delegate. And 
I do not think there could be a simpler way to delegate uh, than using Temple Wallet. So I've gone ahead and created an account and uh, deposited a little bit of Tezos just so I can kind of show you guys uh, how to do this. Basically on uh, Temple Wallet, you can uh, use your ledger, connect your ledger device, you can import your account, use the private key, mnemonic, which is like 16 words. If you did a private key, sometimes it's encrypted with a password. Make sure you remember what that password is. Uh, fundraiser, um, that's not really used that much anymore. Uh, managed, and also you can track uh, different accounts. So you can track our baker by copying, pasting this TZ1 address and putting it here and labeling it as the baker. And you can kind of see our funds and how they move in and out. Okay, so from there, uh, it's really easy to delegate. You just go over here to delegation. Okay, and hit redelegate. Oh, sorry, this is my old bakery. Let's go ahead and switch accounts here. That's my bakery from like three years ago. It's my running a private bakery. Okay, now you can go ahead and see. Uh, oh, okay, just a second, sorry. Let me see, we should be, I think we're listed in here. Just a second. Delegate now. Oh, this is the list powered by Tezos Notes. Yeah, we are, we are on here. So, let me see, scroll down. Oh, here we are, Cryptstar, right here. P7.9, go ahead and click on that. So you can see, like I said before, it, uh, our fee is 8%, our space is 103,000 Tezos, Tezis. Okay, so we're gonna hit Rocket. It's honestly, the fee is neg neg negligible. It's very small compared to Ethereum, so don't worry about it. Okay, hit Delegate. And boom, the request is in. Just wait a few seconds and you'll see that it's delegated. So what we can do is we can click on this little button, view on Block Explorer. It'll take us to uh, TZ uh, KT. Okay, this is run by Baking Bad as well. This is a Block Explorer. Okay, so new delegate is TZ1 VAI. That is Cryptstar Staking, that's us. Okay, woohoo, got a new delegator. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next topic of discussion, to become a bondholder. Now. Cryptstar, we offer a service called a bondholder service. And if you are really bullish on Tezos and you want to make around a 7.2, 7.3% APY, as well as be involved in a bakery yourself, we do offer the ability to join us as a bondholder. Now, we have invested in state of the art uh, security. So we know that your Tez Tez uh, XTZ, your Tezos are secure with us. We have uh, the private key stored on an HSM and it is virtually impossible to take the key off of this HSM, okay? Uh, we also provide uh, continual maintenance and upgrades, so you don't have to worry about running your own bakery. You, uh, we'll take care of all the security updates and uh, maintenance patches that we need to in order to keep our bakery healthy. We also provide you with a uh, email report. Uh, this is not a daily report, it's done every cycle. Uh, we will send you a report uh, with all of the payments and everything, all the payment information, and you can also take a look at uh, TZ Stats and see our uh, baking schedule. Um, you'll also receive uh, daily rewards. Um, I'm sorry, you'll also receive your rewards uh, every three days, just like everyone else, uh, to whatever address you give us, who you register with us. We do have a minimum of 1,000 Tezis to be able to join us as a bondholder. Also, uh, there is a one month uh, withdrawal uh, lock, uh, lockout period. So if once you give us the Tezos, uh, due to the fact that uh, we have to hold your Tezos as a bond, we cannot withdraw it at any time. We have to first uh, lower our delegations and take it out incrementally. Uh, and so that can take up to uh, 30 days or 60 days even. So uh, we do ask you to work with us, uh, give us plenty of time uh, notice when you decide to withdraw your bond and another bonus of becoming a bond holder is if any if our bakery earns any sort of reward any sort of airdrop uh, in the past we did receive some staker airdrop and I uh, we distributed that to all of our bond holders at the time hey guys that's it for today's tutorial I hope this helped you choose the Tezos bakery that is right for you, as well as gave you a little more insight as to how the ingenious liquid proof of stake concept works. Now, if you like this video and want to see more, please like, subscribe, and leave a question or comment below. Feel free to reach out to us at Cryptstar if you have any questions about our services we offer or even about just Tezos in general. Anyways, have a great week guys.